This video is brought to you by Artlist. All right, everybody, we got a fun one today. The first backpacking trip of the year. And it's coming about a month later than the first trip was last year because the snow melt has just been so late this year. Uh, the temps have stayed cool until about a week or two ago and not much of the snow has melted up in the Alpine Lakes wilderness. So yeah, uh, late start to the season, but happy to be out here nonetheless. And uh, we're making up for some lost ground because we're gonna do like a 15 to 20 mile hike. It's gonna be a fun day. And uh, yeah, one, one night backpacking trip to start out the season. Pack's looking mighty big this year. So it'll be an interesting one, but yeah, let's go. It's crazy seeing what snow does to a landscape. When I hiked this two years ago, it was all blanketed in snow and it looked so much more majestic. Not saying that it's not still absolutely gorgeous, but there's something special about hiking in that uh, early winter season. little lunch spot on the far side of Snow Lake. I'm gonna camp out here for a little bit. Let me get the fishing pole out, see if I can grab something. Sweet little uh, little travel rod here. I know nothing about fishing, so any fishermen watching this, I wanna close your eyes for this part because it's probably gonna be embarrassing. Fishing in the Alpine Lakes wilderness. Can't complain about that. Let the good times roll One me and one me Forever it's our show I don't know how and don't know why But I'll, I'll be toasting all my life That's enough of that for now Onward and upward, Gem Lake. All 
All right, everybody, we have found our home for the evening right next to Gem Lake, as you can see, gorgeous backdrop behind us. And off to my left, we have Wright Mountain, which I think I'm gonna climb tonight because from the top, we should get a really, really good view of lower and upper Wildcat Lakes with the sun setting right behind them. So I think that should be well worth the trip up there. I'm gonna get my tent set up, everything situated here. Then we're gonna head on down to the lake. I'm gonna jump in, get a quick bath in. And uh, yeah, make some food, hang out, and enjoy a lovely evening here next to Jim Lake. Sunday blue. Sunday blue. Guys, I have a feeling this water might take the cake for coldest water I've ever been in. If you guys want an indicator as to how cold this water is, half the lake's still covered in ice. So, actually there's a little piece of ice floating right next to me. Uh, so yeah, plenty cold. All right, let's get this over with. A snag one photo down here at Gem Lake before heading up this kind of range right in front of me these three peaks uh, they're reflecting really nicely off the water right here and uh, the Sun kind of just poked behind the ridge line to my right and it's casting some beautiful faded uh, late kind of evening light on this, this composition so this might be a fun one Alright everyone, evening summit of Wright Mountain complete. You can see way down there, Snow Lake, and then just down here is Gem Lake, and then off to this side. Unfortunately, we're not getting much of a sunset tonight, because off on this side we should usually be able to see the sun setting and a couple of other lakes, but got pretty cloudy up here. But this is just unbelievable up here above everything. Everybody needs a little bit of this in their life. This is unreal. Just sheer cliffs on both sides of me. Yeah, you do not want to be taking a tumble up here. Right mountain. Wow. Sunday blue. Doing one more photo. There's wildflowers right literally at the summit. Just too cool not to capture. Sunday blue. All right. That's a wrap on Mount Wright. Sunday blue. I just found a tube. It's a pencil and a notepad. Let's see what we got here. Summit register, Wright Mountain. 5,430 feet. All these are from 2021 and on. There's a lot of people in here. Very, very cool. I'm the third person to uh, summit this, this year. Well, the third person that's seen this tube that was precariously hidden behind a rock. So probably not actually the third, but I'm gonna say that I was the third. Here we are, Bray Hansiker. I just had to show you guys the setup we got going on down by the lake right here. The clouds rolled out. Now we got a clear sky and this low mist just hanging out right on the lake. We got the hot meal. We got sweet pork and rice absolutely delicious we got the warm tea peppermint tea right here and the mountains in the background just hanging out oh my goodness cannot beat it Fine.
find out here on the road. We're back at Snow Lake. Just pulled up and I saw a pretty good sized trout just swimming right next to the shore. So I was gonna jump in first, but I think I gotta get the fishing rod assembled and uh, get a few casts out there because that'd be awesome to catch a little fish before packing it up and heading home. Oh, I got a stick. Nice, look at that guys, that's a big one. Oh yeah, last cast of the day. What a score. All right, to spice up this dive, what I think I'm gonna do is set up the Pentax on the tripod and try to do a self timer and time it so perfectly that it gets me mid air, mid dive into the lake. That'd be a pretty epic self portrait. So I'm gonna do the calculations and uh, get everything set up. Okay, it seems as though it fires after about 12 seconds. So I'm gonna press the button, run to, run to the ledge, and try to time it perfectly so that it captures me right when I'm in the middle of the air. I don't have high expectations for this, but might as well try. Parts of experiment, some have some have flown. I know that I'm more than my failures and trying. It feels good to have the first backpacking trip of the year in the books. I had fun trekking past a lake that I had previously visited and charting some new territory. I'd like to return to the High Lakes Trail at some point to venture deeper to Lower and Upper Wildcat Lakes and Summit Caroline Peak. I didn't shoot as much film as I typically do on my backpacking trips, but I'm really happy with the images I got. This has been a theme with most of my photo outings recently, shooting less and enjoying more. The self-portrait of me fishing at the far side of Snow Lake is one of my favorite images I've ever taken. I'm glad I have a new way to pass the time while I'm out in the backcountry. I sat at Gem Lake for about an hour that night. I've never seen the sky so littered with stars. It was the first time in my life where I could see the Milky Way galaxy with my naked eye. These trails always seem to find a way to offer something new. I have a few more trips planned this year, and I'm eager to see what's in store on each of them. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out the video today. I briefly want to thank Artlist for supporting my work and sponsoring this video. All of the music you heard in this video was found on Artlist. For a while, I struggled to find royalty-free music that was actually of high quality, and I'm super glad I ended up finding Artlist because their catalog of thousands of songs is easy to browse through, and their single license ensures I can use the music I download for any application. Whether you need music for a YouTube video, commercial, wedding video, podcast, or social media, Artlist's single license covers it all. They also recently introduced just a social media plan if you're looking to save a little bit of money and only need music for your social media content, you can go that route as well. The library of music is constantly being updated to ensure there's always a wide variety of fantastic songs available. Check out the link in the description to sign up for Artlist today. You'll get an extra two months for free.